Leos, welcome to your reading, guys. Let's jump into a conversation with your person. Let's find out what their thoughts and their feelings are when it comes to you and your connection. But we are going to do everything from their perspective. I want to see how they're reading your energy. Uh huh. But I also want to ask them how they think you are reading their energy let's find out how intuitive they are when it comes to you how well do they know you on that energetic level let's jump in guys this is for my leos y'all know if this reading doesn't resonate for you check out your other sign positions i didn't do a wild card for this reading i'll i'll pick those back up at the end of the week so check out your other sign positions if this one doesn't resonate Ooh. Leo's person. Spirit, bring their energy in. Strongest one forward for my Leo's right now. Ooh, let's find out how they are seeing you. I can feel their energy with us. Pop. Right now, you are in the feels. Yes, a wave of emotions. Caught up in feelings. Intense emotional reaction. Oh, so you're going through some stuff. They feel they feel in your feels with you. Let's see the uh, energy in the connection, in the relationship, the overall energy. Pop. <laughs> Ow, snack. Looks good at the moment. A very attractive person, hot and sexy. Looks good at the moment. The energy between you. Mm, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about that one. Hang on. Let's see, from their perspective, how they think you perceive their energy. What's going on with them? Let's see if they can get that right. Ow, bounce. Walking away. Leave a situation. Relocating to another place. Ooh, we got somebody relocating to another place. Leo. Mm -hmm. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Leaving a situation. Wow. Ooh, Leo's. Not quite sure how I feel about this one, guys. Because what I'm getting... The undercurrent energy seems to be... They feel like they got you where they, they want you. Mm hmm Guys, really... The person is is switching up situations. They're they're doing a bounce. They're they're taking some action, something. And the fact that it's got you in a wave of of, emo of emotions, a little bit vulnerable, is making them feel special. Special. Let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. Important. Mm -hmm. And almost like I got you, or I want you. Let's come in on that snack energy. Mm. Squad, owl, group of close friends, important people in your life. Poise. Brother, sisterhood, inner circle. Oh, guys, some, somebody's got an influence on the people around you in the tribe. They've influenced uh, opinions. About them, they're looking good. Let's put it that way. But we we might be in this a little bit of, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this person. I'm not sure about the motives and the way they're going about things. Uh, we're, we might be trying to ignore red flags here on this person. Because this person is doing, uh, you know, some maneuvers. But energetic maneuvers to move in on us uh, and get to where they feel more solid with us. That kind of thing. Wow. And, um... The fact they got you a little bit disturbed here. Your energy's disturbed is... is Yeah. It's like, mm-hmm. And using friends or family. Uh, a group that's around you. To impress them and... To where you, you know, if you would voice, I don't feel comfortable with something that go, you crazy, they nice, they did, blah, blah. Yeah. So, yeah, they, they doing some maneuvers. Mm. Let's see where the energy has been 
in the connection and where your person thinks it's going. Let's see where it's uh, the energy, the past energy up to the present moment. Let's find out what that energy was in the connection. You pop dreams. We, we talk in my dreams. You tell me your secrets and I tell you mine. This person knows there's an energetic connection between you. Y'all know how to pull strings on each other. You know each other's scars or weaknesses and flaws. But you also know the best of each other. Mm-hmm. They definitely feeling like there's an ener that energetic connection. You know how to you know how to pull on each other. Mm -hmm. Pull each other's strings to maneuver each other in a direction. Where do they think it's headed? Doorway. Do not let this moment pass by. Do something. Say anything. Take a chance with me. Yeah, they want to. They're bouncing, guys. They're taking some action. Um, could be wanting to move in with us. Get on more solid ground with us. Something. They are uh, coming through a doorway. And like I said, they've got, they feel confident that they've won over everyone's opinion around you. Mm-hmm. Let's dive into the emotions. Let's come into the undercurrent emotions of things. Let's find out um, what's not really being said. See how well they really do intuitively read you. Because they already got you in, in waves of emotion here. Let's see how they're seeing you on the deeper level, on that emotional state. Mmm, pop. Mmm. Dang, guys, really? Mmm. With, <clears throat> with this one, it's, it's like knowing when to exit the stage. But it's also the fact that it's puppets on the strings. Mmm. That, that's telling me this person does feel like we know each other enough that we know how to trigger each other and maneuver each other. But there there is this concern uh, under all their confidence of this bouncing action they got going on. There is a concern because this one is, you'll see. Let me get it up here, guys. You'll see she's got her hands up like, oh, no, no, no. Mm-mm, mm-mm. The card is about knowing when to exit and who to be on stage with and who you don't want to be on stage with. Wow. So they 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 are not quite sure about your energy, but they they are they know they've pulled some strings on you. Their emotional energy. They're not going to be distracted. They're they're trying not to. They're not going to let this fear of I know you, you might, I'm I'm risking you walking off stage with me. They're, they're not going to allow themselves to think in those terms that confidence they're feeling right now, the cockiness they feel right now, has got them not going to be distracted by it. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep bouncing, taking the action. Energy between us in the connection. Guys, mm -mm. this is the undercurrent energy between us. Look at that. Guys, mm -hmm. this card is like, be wary of people that do things for you out of the kindness of their heart because they do expect something in return. It's the manipulation, the pulling the strings. Um, and like I said, I'm picking up that this person knows that you can pull their strings, but they also know that um, they can pull yours. Or that you can pull theirs. Yeah, let's put it that way. It's, it's a mirroring thing. Uh-huh. Wow, okay. <clears throat> Let's go a little bit deeper. I'm going to use Wisdom of the House of Night. And y'all forgive me, I've had to pause and put it in a cough drop. So if I sound weird and stuff, sorry. But I am getting a little bit of a cold. Let's go deeper onto the emotions. Let's see what they're going to bring out. Let's dive a little bit deeper. Let's, let's go into, <laughs> past the surface, past this uh, trigger, trigger reactive mode and find out what your higher self is pushing you to respond with. Fulfillment. Okay, there's something uh, allowing yourself to feel these feelings and um, tolerating this uh, 
manipulation right now. It might be, you You might have undercurrent issues about uh, abundance, stability, fulfillment. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, where you might, circumstances might be um, weighing heavy on you about allowing this person to pull some strings and not addressing it. Mm -hmm. Let's see on theirs. We've got a reminder. Don't forget. Mm -hmm. Don't forget. Oh, reminder. Mm. Let's see if something else will come out on that reminder. Because the reminder to me is like um, this person, if we try to address, address um, any red flags and issues, this person will jump up and start reminding us, pull the strings to remind us that there are circumstances. There is a tribe that I have impressed <laughs> that think I'm the coolest thing there ever is. And they try to remind you of all the reasons uh, to be in the connection with them. Mm -hmm. But let's see what else is going to come out on the reminder. I'm getting to wishing. Wish fulfillment and risk. Wow. Okay. Reminding you of the things you're wishing for <clears throat> and the risk. The risk. Uh, so yeah, if you, if you're like, okay, wait a minute, I'm not sure I want I want this action. I'm not sure I want I want to step up game like this with you and take these kind of actions. This person is going to trigger you to remind you of why it's beneficial for you. And why it's not beneficial if you address the red flag. Why you need me so much, that kind of thing. Why we need each other so much. Energies, uh, uh, undercurrent energy between us. Fledglings, ow, we feel, ooh, guys. With the fledgling, that's like, mm, mm, mm. It's like a beginner energy. <clears throat> New experience. Um, curiosity is guidance. Even though we, we it's, it, it reminds me of a page of wands energy, guys. Uh, the curiosity, the love of adventure <clears throat> is going to compel us to take the action, to get into it. But at the same time, it's like saying... This is a new experience. I don't feel like it's a new experience for either one of us. Mm -mm. We may be putting ourselves stuck into, I don't know how to deal with the red flags that are coming up. I don't know how to address them. I don't know how to get past my fears uh, because of past experiences that we've had in other broken, toxic relationships. Um, am I saying this connection is toxic? It might, you might, Leo's be going, I'm not sure if it's toxic. I'm not sure if it's headed towards something toxic. Uh, the one thing I'm going to tell you is trust your intuition. You've already had experience. Both of you have had experience. That's the reason you can, um, confuse each other so much and put each other into your place, into their place. Let's put it that way. And have such a big influence. We've already been through it and done it. Um, so it's not like you're a beginner. But you may feel stuck. Stuck in. I don't know what to do. You may be throwing yourself back into the past. Of how you've gotten into. Bad relationships. Or dysfunctional relationships before. And you may be lulling yourself to sleep. And telling yourself monkey brain chatter may be scaring you back into, well, I don't know what to do. Yeah, you do. You do know what to do. Mm -hmm. If you worry that it's a toxic situation, because the, the person is implying to me that you know how to pull their strings just as much as they know how to pull your strings. But if, if you address everything that's bothering you, every fear and doubt, voice it out to this person. Don't sit quietly and ignore red flags. Red flags that you don't address now, you will pay for later. Mm -hmm. It's not a point of there, there should never be any red flags. No, there's always red flags, guys. Always in connections, relationships. 
the, the thing of it is, is to address. You don't hold it in. You don't ignore it. You address it. You talk to someone. You tell them the red flags. You tell them your feels. And if there's not a permanent change made from you voicing it with them, that's how you know they're not your monkey. That's how you know you're headed into something toxic. If somebody can't hear you when you say, I'm uncomfortable about this. I don't like the way you're behaving. I'm not sure. I'm ready for you to be bouncing all over the place on me. That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. If they change, a permanent change, guys, then then that's how you know, yeah, okay, this is going to be different. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Let's find out what your person is hoping and desiring to bring into this connection and what they would like to for both of you to bring into the connection. This is from a Leo's person. What do you want to bring into and pop? Self-love. As you love who you are, you become more confident in your relationships and with yourself. Self-love. The room for self-love. And like I said, guys, self-love is addressing red flags when they come up. Don't try to avoid red flags. There will always be red flags. Voice it. Address it. Immediately. Not reactively. Respond to it. Accountability. Someone needs to take accountability for their actions. It may be you, your partner, or both of you. Acknowledging the effect of your behavior allows you to move forward. Yes. Both of you acknowledge them because there's definitely mirroring energy from your person's perspective. Address, even if you have to do it over distance. Let me call you. Let me go 100 miles away from you. And then I'll call you and we'll talk because I don't feel like doing it face to face. Mm -hmm. See, what else? What else? It's from a Leo's. Pop. Main attraction. Some, someone can't keep their eyes off you. You are the leading star. You are the center of attention. They want to be the main person for you. And you're the main person for them. Leos, let's get them talking, guys. Let's see what deck they want to use to start with. Talk to us. Y'all are getting big mama both sides of the deck. Mm -hmm. Let's get it up here. This is from a Leo's person. Leo's. Leo's. Ooh, one more, guys. That don't feel right. There we go. Okay. Leo's. Talk to us. Get it going. I have abandonment issues. Mm-hmm. I have abandonment issues. It feels like you're so closed off. What else? Do not doubt our love. It goes beyond this lifetime. My last relationship was very toxic. Mm -hmm. I think both of yours were. What if we fall apart again? I didn't mean to hurt you. And put that in any context it needs to be in. It might be, I don't mean to hurt you. Present moment. Mm -hmm. I want you so badly it hurts, but there are too many reasons why I shouldn't. Keep talking. I regret sabotaging our connection. I'm, I'm hearing that in a passive way for someone, which means to put it into question form. Is what I'm doing sabotaging our connection? That's what it means when I say passive, put it into question form. Am I sabotaging our connection? Is what I'm doing sabotaging us? Secrets. 
secrets. You're not telling me. You're not talking to me. You're not addressing things. You're not. You're in your feels, and you're you've gone quiet. You're hugging the pillow, and not me. Uh huh. I need a commitment. I want a commitment. <clears throat> I need some time to be able to to think straight. I'm too confused. And what come with that one? I'm scared of what's ahead. I have your back no matter what happens. I wish we talked more. You changed. You changed. Something about you has changed, guys. I feel like you have someone else. Mm. Outside influences. Mm -hmm. Where we picked up on the energy, the tribe around. They were trying to impress. Yeah, that kind of thing. To put pressure on you. All the way around you. That will keep influencing you to stay. And not, and not walk away from them. I would give anything to hold you. Come find me. Come find me. It's passive. That means to put it into question form. Come find me. I don't know what it, what they're trying to say. Other than it should be a question. Anything else on this side of the deck? Yes. I'm sick of arguing all the time. You rejected me. It still hurts. Mm. Oh, the energy. <clears throat> Let's get the other side going here. This is for my Leo's person. Leo. Ooh, that one's smooth. Okay. Talk to us, Pop. I just feel like you will cheat on me. I dream of a future with you. Anything else? Mm -hmm. I'm all screwed up about this. Are the rumors about you and them true? Forever is not long enough. My love for you will never die. Confirmation for someone, June, Gemini, and Cancer. Don't just, don't just look at the zodiac signs. Sometimes they're trying to point out a month of significance for you. <clears throat> I, I need to be selfish right now and focus on learning to love myself again. I don't know how to move forward from this situation. I do see a future for us. Sometimes I think you hate me. Ooh. Do you? <laughs> Got to learn the difference, Leo's, between I love you, but sometimes I don't always like you. Yes. <laughs> I know we have shared many past lives together. And I know we have a real connection. Yes. Hold the energy. Guys, let's pull our new deck, the text messages. Let's see if your person, if they could text you one thing right now, what would it be? Let's see if they want to do that. This is for my Leo's person. If you could say, send one text, what would you want to text right now? Let's see if I can get their energy on it. It's my Leo's person. Ooh, it got warm. Let's see. Set the energy. One message. What would it be? What would it be? Pop. Got one. Please answer me. I have to talk to you. Are we shutting down on them, guys? Please answer me. Give me some answers here. Talk to me. <laughs> You'd be like, no. I'm going to hug the pillow right now. Hug the pillow. Hey guys, let's see if they want to talk with another deck real quick. 
Is there anything else you want to talk with? Talk to us. Talk to us. Ooh, butterflies. Blue butterflies. The light side of the deck. Okay, we take it. We take it. Smiling at this person. Let's get the energy up on this deck. Ooh, right there. And we already got a couple out. Hold the energy. I don't want this to end. I've been through so much, I don't know if I can start over again. Keep talking. Anything else? Pop. My feelings for you are real. I'm always talking about you to my friends, and that could be also to your friends. Because they are trying to impress a tribe. <laughs> I just want to hold you. Hold on to you, is what I heard. I need you. I need you to need me. Also, I dream of a future with you. I'm not good at communicating my feelings. No one will ever love you like I do. I wish I knew how you really feel about me. And, after knowing you, <clears throat> I will never be the same. I will never be the same after you. Hold the energy. Guys, let's go ahead and get on the clothes. I'm picking big guns. Conversation with counterpart. I'm going to ask a person if they could close off with just one message to you, what it would be. This is for my Leos, their person. One thing, if you could say one thing on this deck, what do you want to say? Leo's. One thing. Set the energy for me. Leo's person. Ooh, it's on the bottom. I'm going to get more than one. I'm giving you all my heart. The beauty of your soul takes my breath away. Last one, guys. I'll always believe in you and me. Ooh. Leo's, guys, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Bless me.